Good morning, year 21, and welcome to your live evening lesson with me, Mr. Pitcock. I hope you're all well and safe. I know that there's a big week coming up and going back to school, so we're going to get us nice and healthy, make sure that our bodies are nice and fit, ready to go back to school. So, we're going to do a little bit of a warm up. We're then going to get our heart rate, our heart rate raised, reset, so that we can get our muscles all working, get the blood pumping around our body, and then we're going to finish off with our skill for the week, which you should have been working on with the new slide presenter. So let's get ready by warming up. So we're going to start with our legs. So we're going to start by stretching. This quadricep muscle. So you're going to flick your leg up behind your body and you're going to grip your like this, stretching your quadricep. And swap legs. Now, this is a very important skill to be able to do as well as balancing whilst you are stretching. Excellent. Now, our next one, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out the backs of our legs. So we're going to get our hamstrings nice and warm. We're going to do this by doing this. So we're going to put up in this front, come down, and brush hands down by the side. Excellent, two more. Fantastic. All right, so that's the back of our legs, our quadriceps. We're now going to focus on the back of our legs at the bottom, our calf muscle. So, for this, this, you're going to lie down, go down to your hands, and you're going to bring your knees down to the ground, up, up. Let's do 10 seconds fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now our legs are getting nice and warm. We're going to start warming up our hip abductors. So we're going to do a little round of our stretching, spinning around with our hips, guys. Ten big circles. Change sides. Excellent. All right, so give yourself a little bit of a shake because we're going to be moving around lots. Now, our next one is our arms, so we're going to warm up our arms by doing big circles. So big, 10 big circles, guys. And change direction. Good job. All right, now we're going to do our arms up to the sides. So we're going to get our shoulders warm to so just going across our body and out to the back. This is going to warm up our chest. It's going to warm up our shoulders. It's going to get us ready for all the movements that we're going to be doing. All right, finally, we need to warm up our necks. Our necks are very important. So you're going to start by pushing side to side relax shoulders shoulders are staying down heads moving side to side everyone
And let's change going forward and backwards now. Excellent, good job. Now we're going to count down together. We're going to do 10 rolls with our head. So we're going to roll our head around 10 times. Ready? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. Now, hopefully our bodies are nice and warm, ready for our workout. We are going to start off with getting our cardio blasted. So, we're going to raise our heart rates. We're going to get sweaty. We're going to get out of breath. So, make sure you have some water with you here. All right? So, our first exercise. We're going to do six exercises, guys. Six exercises. Number one exercise Number four, the star jump. So feet together, arms together, jumping out together like this. Star jumps. All right. Number two is going to be our body rotation. So hands are going to stay out here, feet are going to be together, you're going to spin just like this. So jumping around, side to side, moving our feet side to side. Number three is our lunge. Remember, the lunge, both feet together, step out, lunge down. Keeping your body up nice and tall the whole time. Down and up. That's the lunge. Number four. It's very simple. And number four is our squat jumps. So you're going to squat down, squat and jump continuously. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Number five is a very good one. Number five, fingers behind the ears. We're going to do the standing crunch. So we're going to crunch. We're going to knee up to our opposite elbow. Okay, so that's number five. And number six is going to be a very good one as well. We are going to do shoulder taps. Shoulder taps looks like this. We're going to be in this position, in the push up position. Your hands, your hands need to touch your shoulders. So you're going to touch shoulders each time. Okay, just like so. There are six. Star jumps at first. We're doing 30 seconds, and then we're going to move on to the next one. So, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Star jumps, everyone. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Next is our twists. So feet are going to be turning on the outside. We're rotating our hips around. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Keep moving. Ten seconds. Bring your legs together. Three, two, one. Good job, good job. Okay. Next one's our squat jumps. Woo! Are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Squat and jump. Keep 
Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, lunge is the next. Stand back, keep your body up nice and tall. Three, two, one. Step out and lunge down. Keep that back knee from touching the ground. Good work, everyone. This is working on our leg muscles. Get us really big and strong there so we can be faster. Three, two, one. Good job. Now it's our shoulder tap. So remember, hold in the push up position, touch your shoulder on the other side. Three, two, one, let's go. If it gets too difficult, go down onto your knees. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Good job. That's one round. One more to go. Take some water. Woo. Okay. And back into star jumps. Ten more seconds rest. Let's see if we can go even faster this time. You can do it here once. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Good job, everyone. Keep moving. Let's get that heart raising. Let's get it working harder. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, good job. Next is our disco moves. I always call this the disco twist. So we're twisting, dancing as well. All right, are we ready in three, two, one? Let's go. Hands out in front. Rotating around, turning your hips each time, keep your knees together. Now, this is going to be working on our leg muscles, but also our tummy muscles. Three, two, one. Good job, good job. Next up, we have our squat jumps. So let's keep moving. Again, working on our leg muscles. Three, two, one, let's go. Squat down, jump up. Remember, just go down and up. Sitting down, back up. Down and up. Keep going, guys. Try and keep going. If you land, squat and jump. Five seconds. Time. Good job, good job, good job. Lunge is the next. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lunge out. Work everyone. Working on those leg muscles. Three, three, two, one. Good job. 
last one. Our shoulder taps. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go, you ones. Excellent work. Five more seconds. And ah, good work, everyone. Fantastic. Now, you should have been looking at our Google Slides for the skills for the week and seeing all the content you should be practicing at home. We're looking at manipulative skills, which means we're looking at working with objects. So we were looking at the dribble last week. So let me just go over quickly some of those key points, and then I'm going to show you some of the new activities or challenges you can practice. So, you start with the dribble of the basketball. Remember, hand, our hands don't touch, only our fingers. So our fingers are touching only. So we're pushing the ball down next to our body. Push, push, push. Okay, so we're pushing, not slapping. We're using our fingertips, not the palms of our hands. We can stay in the athletic position. So one leg out in front, nice and low, ready to change direction if we need to. One challenge for the basketball dribble this week. I want to see if you can do 20 on the right hand, 20 on the left hand. And then see if you can do crossovers after each two. So we're going to go one, all the way to 20, all the way to 20, and then we'll do this one, two, crossover through the legs, one, two, crossover through the legs. So you step every time. So watch again. So I go one, two, step, and cross. One, two, step and cross. And see how many you can do. So every time you dribble, one, two, step forward with the other leg, put the ball through your legs and control. Bring your feet together. One, two, step forward with the other leg, through your legs to the other side. That is your basketball dribble family. All time. With a ball, any type of ball, what you can do, I want to see, we're using the inside and outside foot for dribbling, so you're going to practice that on both feet, so use either some objects like teddy bears, or towels, or cones, chairs, anything to dribble in and out of, and your challenge for the football to control is using the bottom part of your foot, Stepping like this and see if you can do it for 30 seconds. If you get really good, you can try and add some speed. Okay, so controlling the ball, stepping your foot on top of you, making sure you stay balanced whilst you do the skill. Enjoy your challenges. Well done for joining today. Hope you're as sweaty and out as breath as I am. And hopefully I get to see you all very, very soon. We'll try and get outside. I know it's raining again. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have some nice weather by the end of the week. All right, see you all soon.